second grade. So today we are going to be making a clay ornament, a cupcake in fact. And what we're going to do is um, you are going to take your your clay chunk and you're going to split it in half first of all. So one side is going to be kind of set to the side and the other one is going to be in, rolled into a ball. So we're going to put that into a ball and we're going to be doing a pinch pot. So if you recalled, we've done some pinch pots before. Remember we made that nest in kindergarten. Um, so what you're going to do is use the tip of your thumb and you're going to push into the clay. Don't go all the way through because if you go all the way through, it's going to become a donut and you're just going to kind of pinch just using your thumb on the inside and then your fingers on the outside. You're just going to kind of pinch a little bowl. And we want the bowl to be kind of flat and right now this bowl is not. So a good way to solve that problem is just to kind of tap it on the table. Um, and then we're just going to kind of do some really gentle pushing and getting that done. Then what you are going to do is you're going to get um, your other section of clay and we're going to make that into a coil. So we're going to roll this into a coil. So you're just going to take your clay and go like this and roll it out so it's about the thickness of your pinky. So here's my pinky. We want it about that thickness. You don't need a lot, but definitely with... All right, so once you get there, now we're going to put the frosting on. We want this to be hollow because anything over an inch thick will explode in the kiln. So we want to also attach. So I'm going to slip and score everything. So we're going to take a little bit of toothbrush and put it on there. We're also going to slip and score around the rim of our container. And we're going to start one side. And we're going to attach. And then what's going to happen is we're going to take our ice cream. Or not ice cream, but our... our um, frosting and we're going to start working it inward so it becomes frosting on top of our ice for on top of our little cup so we're just going to go like that and we're just going to keep on going until we close it all the way up and it kind of looks like a little mound and we just kind of want to twist it twist it twist it and then of course we want to take all the extra off so we're just going to pinch that extra off now we have our whip topping or our frosting on top of our project then we probably would like some extra things like maybe a cherry on top so I'm going to just take a little whatever clay I've left over make a little ball like that and then I'm going to put my cherry right on top of that just like that that looks really good and then of course you know after you get that done we're going if you want to you can add little sprinkles little balls of clay for sprinkles and just make sure that they are stuck on there really good kind of Kind of have to smash them on there. Just kind of put them wherever you want sprinkles at. And you're just going to add those little little details all over your project um, to make it look really cool. And we're going to be painting these up for Christmas, right before Christmas. So that way you guys will take them home before Christmas break. That's our plan. All right, once we get that all done, then of course you will need to see me. Mrs. Myers is going to write your name on the bottom, so we're going to go Mrs. Myers, and then I will put two, and then whatever teacher code we need to do, and then from there, we will also punch a hole into our cherry, so that way we can have a hanging string, so what's going to happen is I'm going to just push that through like that, and it's going to come out the other side, I'm going to kind of drill it through. And that's going to allow us to put a string through there so that you can hang it on a Christmas tree if you want. Or on a, on a package, like if you wanted to make this as part of your package ornaments and make it look really cool on a package, that would be cool. You can also add some texture on here using a pencil or a, or a tool. You can just like make some lines. Since I have a needle tool on me, I'm just going to use that. But you can do some lines on your on your liner, cupcake liner. And we're just going to kind of go all the way around so it looks really cool. So, and that is how we make our um, cupcake ornament. 